Hi guys, welcome back to a new review. Today I'm going to have a look at this Mythic Legions figure from the Four Horsemen. So the Four Horsemen are the guys that sculpted all of the Masters of the Universe classics as well as the Thundercats classics as well as the Masters of the Universe 2000X line. Uh, so Mythic Legions is their own in-house action figure line. Um, I don't know a lot about it, I don't really collect them, but each year they do usually two Masters of the Universe in inspired characters. So this year they did one inspired by Trapjaw and this guy inspired by Panthor. So this is his packaging, he comes on a resealable bubble art. There is some information about uh, Mythic Legions on the back there and some information about this guy on the side. So as you can see, they have named him Perplore. <laughs> so um, I haven't read that, but if you would like to read it, I'll see if I can get it in focus and you can freeze frame and have a read. Um, but uh, yes, he's on a, as I said, a resealable bubble card. So we can just slide that off and here he is. Um, so what I might do is I'll just pause for a second while I get all of this out and we'll have a closer look. And here he is off the card. Um, as you can see, he has a human form. Uh, so articulation wise, he has like a ball jointed um, ankle articulation. He has a knee joint, um, hip articulation. Hips go out and forward and backwards. He has waist turn. He actually has a ball joint there. Um, and I know these come apart there. So you can take his armor off if you choose. And then he has a uh, shoulder joint, uh, elbow, which is a, uh, spins around and goes backwards and forwards, uh, wrist, and as I said, the removable head. Now for parts, um, he comes with a sword. I don't know if that's based on anything. I'm guessing it's probably just a Mythic, a Mythic Legion's reused part. He has this um, shoulder piece, or neck piece, I guess, um, shoulder armor, that clips onto this. So there's a hole at the back there and you can just plug these pieces in. Oops, these figures are all about um, uh, interchangeability. So everything, everything uh, connects with one another, everything mixes and matches with everything else really. Uh, he has this leather looking belt that doesn't hold the sword. I couldn't get that in there. So I'm guessing it's not a sword holder. He comes with a spare head. I think this is an actual Mythic Legions character head, so he comes with that. A um, uh, shield, which actually reminds me a little bit of the 2000X Panthor armor, uh, the shape of the armor at the front and then down the back. He comes with this smaller like axe or knife type thing, saw, and a tail, oh a tail. So the tail just plugs in at the back. Um, and I'm going to put this shoulder piece on him because I think it suits him a lot better. So I just pop that on and then pop his head on. And if I pose him right, get these pieces on, um, this is how he looks. Um, yeah, so I like him. As I said, I got him um, just because I like the thought of these Masters of the Universe cats being part of the Thundercat world. Um, there is also a, um, a Battle Cat version from a few years ago. Um, I think this was 2018, this one was from. Uh, his feet are aftermarket feet. They're custom aftermarket feet. I have some for this guy as well, but I haven't painted them and put them on yet. So uh, yeah, there you go. I'll. Um, I'll get him together and post some photos after this. Thanks guys.